Good afternoon and welcome to Creative Writing 101. I'm Professor Hilton and as a welcome exercise we're going to do a little writing exercise and I promise you this is going to be really fun and it's going to get your creative juices going. <music> Thirty seconds you need to write a very short poem or a very short story that incorporates all eight of your words from the word prompts. All eight? There's no complaining in this class. Get to a tick tock. And you, sir, in the back? <sighs> Triple J. A beating heart. What are you doing in my class? This is the third time you've enrolled in Creative Writing 101, so I can't give you a grade for this class. Okay, now each of you is going to share what you wrote with the class. Now remember, this is a judgment-free zone. Why don't you go first? Roses are red. Violets are dogs. Spleen and bus. Uh, I had more, but I, I, I thought that's all right. That's a very good start. I like the creativity. So. Why did you choose bus? I took a bus to, to get here. I like that. So why don't you go next? A smelly, nasty smell of socks. Rocking wings like peacocks. A rough texture that shocks. <laughs> Vladimir Putin Sorry. taught other countries in math. Remember, there is no judgment here. Um, you in the back, why don't you share with us? Because he's sleeping with the fishes, but before he ate a rough banana. Banana! Look, banana, it like in Bogota. Equals 40. Now. Do you want to leave the classroom now? Sorry. Sit down. Sorry. Sit down. This is why I've had to tell you to leave the class before. Banana. What I'm gonna share with you now is something that I wrote, a little tableau to set the stage for your own creativity. And this was actually published, this short story. It's called Sleeping with a Bear. She woke to a horrid stench. Instead of her husband, there was a polar bear next to her in the bed. I'm sorry, he said. I ate too many kidney beans for dinner. She was too afraid to move. She tried to convince herself that the bear was a delusion. But how could she smell the bear if he was not real? Where was Fred? She felt tears welling, and her heart beat a staccato in her chest. The bear slid closer and said, do you like to cook with kidney beans? When the bear moved, his weight made the mattress sag. Her mouth was so dry she could barely speak. Kidney beans? Of course, they are so delicious. And the flatulence keeps me occupied on the airplane. The only illumination came from moonlight. Moonlight, best picture. You'll miss me? You could come with me. I'm going to New Zealand to raise sheep. Not to eat. They are too pretty. Sheep's milk makes lovely cheeses. She had to be dreaming. No bear could survive without meat. Wanting to be a dutiful patient, she decided to surrender to the dream and said, you don't eat meat? I'm going to swim with the pink Mau Mau and the trumpeter. I could buy you a snorkel set if you would like to swim with me. She did not know what to say. Was the dream a message that she should get divorced? Take a lover? Her husband never took her on vacation. And now a very nice polar bear was offering to take her to New Zealand. While she was silently pondering her dilemma, the bear leaned closer. His fur was awfully soft and very white. And when he didn't fart, he smelled quite nice. Maybe because he was a vegetarian. Why don't you take this off? The bear tugged her nightgown sleeve gently with his paw. I will give you a lovely massage. I know humans like foreplay before they mate. He smiled. They were smooth and perfectly white, just like George Clooney's. She thought George Clooney was hot.
you should start reading more George literary Floyd journals. It'll help you. Before, JJ, uh, it's time for you to go. Um, yes, is, you have a question? Is the bear like a metaphor of, of George Clooney? Like, does it have to be this a metaphor? Straight up what do you think? I don't, how do you become a professor? It's not a metaphor. It, it sounds like a Do metaphor. you like the bear? What do you like about the bear? It just seems like it's um, <clears throat> of like with, with George Clooney and it. So you like the power and the texture, mm. the dichotomy between the fluffy yeah. softness and the rough, mm. ferocious mm. behavior. Oh, that's exciting. I like bear. Think about that dichotomy. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm allergic to kidney beans. Well, that's a shame. But, but you know what? And that's what matters. I don't think George Clooney is hot at all. You know, it's okay that you don't understand men. Not every female. I you identify as female, I that is. Matt Damon. Matt no Damon. comparison. Yeah. I am feeling the flow. Teach me your ways. How do you write like that? You need to read a lot. Oh, I don't like Write that. down anything. I just want the bears. You know, we have lots of bears in Russia. They're no. such nice animals. No, I don't. So nice of you. I don't want the bears from Russia. Russia. I want the bears here. I want them here. I want the bears now. I want the bears inside me. But the bears, it's I want okay. them now. Reach, no. Reach, reach for the bears. Call this is the reach for it now. Reach for Do it. I need to call security? No. No. I want the bears now. Absolutely not. I want Get the back. bears now. Give me the bears now. You should just give him the bears. Back in your seat. Get back in your seat. Get back in your seat. No.